What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, on yesterday's video, I showed you how to install your Facebook Pixel. So if you didn't catch that video, watch that video. Um, that was yesterday, okay? Today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create custom audiences around all these exact pages. So the pages that I showed you yesterday um, on how to install the Pixel, I'm going to now create a custom audience around every single one of them. Now, there's a few reasons why custom audiences are the most, most important. It's an absolute must on, on what you need to do if you're running Facebook ads, okay? If you're running paid traffic, Facebook advertising, Instagram advertising, you have to create custom audiences um, because it, it gives you the ability to start putting people in certain groups that are engaging with your stuff. Engaging or not engaging. So, for example, I can create an audience of everyone who landed on my checkout page but who have not landed on my thank you for purchasing page right and then i can keep running ads to those people because they haven't bought yet or i can create or i should say and or i can create an audience around everyone who lands on my thank you for purchasing page which will then give me the ability to exclude them from future advertising Right, because I don't want I don't want to, to to keep running ads to people who already bought my stuff. Right, so I want to create audiences around people who landed on the the purchase page. These are people who bought my stuff. I want to create custom audiences around those people so I can then exclude whenever needed. Um, and then also another main main reason, huge reason when it comes to scaling, when it comes to taking your Facebook ads to a whole nother level. What you're going to eventually start doing is creating lookalike audiences. Your lookalike audiences are going to be based on your custom audiences. So you're going to tell Facebook, hey, these are the, here's a custom audience around people who purchased. Now what I want you to do, Facebook, is I want you to create a lookalike audience and give me millions of people more that look like this. right? So Facebook is then going to, uh, is now going to allow you to create what they call a lookalike audience based on your custom audience. So if you didn't have your custom audience set up, you're not going to set up a lookalike audience, right? So custom audiences, you guys, are super, super easy to install, are super easy to set up, and and super, super important for, for Facebook advertising. So again, I showed you these pages yesterday, landing page, here's the webinar page, here's the replay webinar page here is the uh, checkout page and then here is the thank you for purchasing your order is complete page so what i want to do is i want to create a, an audience around every single one of them okay so i'm going to come over here hit the three lines go down to all tools and click on audiences okay that's going to bring me right over here then what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this blue one hit custom audience and then I'm going to simply grab the URL. This is going to be website. I can build custom audiences around people who watch my videos. I can create custom audiences around email list that I have. I can create custom audiences around my Instagram page. Anyone that's it engaging with my Instagram page, I can run ads to them or my Facebook page. I can run ads to them, right? So what I'm going to, what I'm going to show you here is just simple website. Okay, anyone who lands on any page within my website. Okay, so I'm gonna go with we can go with um, people who visit specific pages or all website visitors. I'm gonna go with people who visit specific pages. Okay, and I'm gonna take this up to the max, I'm gonna take that up to 180. Okay, so I'm gonna come over here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to only grab the URL. So it's just this part right here. It's not the HTTPS. It's not the www. It is only that part right there. Okay. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to paste that in right there. And this name is going to be, um, let, let's go with TSRE web class registration. Okay. So that's going to let me know. Let's create audience, okay? We're gonna go create audience. That audience right here, and then and then from here I can create a lookalike audience, but that data, that pixel needs some data first, right? So I need to start building up that pixel first before I can create a, a lookalike audience. So I'm gonna hit done for now, 
and there goes the audience. Okay, so again, when I go start running feature ads, I can target everyone who landed on my page. That right there is powerful, right? So that's, that's its own custom audience. That is the landing page. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create it around everyone who's actually opted in, everyone who uh, registered and actually are now on the webinar page. I'm gonna create a custom audience around everyone who lands on that. And it's gonna go website, and I'm gonna go specific pages, and I'll go 180, and I'll paste this in right here. And this is going to be, um, this is going to be a TSRE web class, web class registrants. Registrants, okay. And then I'm gonna put in parentheses, I'm gonna put 180. So I know it's, it's 180 days, okay? So that's gonna be that. Now here's what's so powerful, is that in this, what I'm gonna also do is exclude anyone who landed on the order complete. So if they purchase, so if they, so here's a custom audience, right? Here's a custom audience of everyone who landed on this webinar page. But I'm also excluding those who, or, who actually ordered, who actually purchased, right? And I'll show you how to do that. We'll come back to that one. We'll set up the audience for the purchase first, and then we'll come over here and exclude them from this one. So I'll create audience. And then we'll hit... Actually, you know what? Let me go. Let me. I'm going to. What I'm going to also add into that one. Let's go with. Let's go back to this one. What I'm also going to do in this one is I'm, I'm actually going to include another link as well. I'm going to include. Let's go to. Um, let me click on this really quick so let's just check the box and let's go edit okay this is what i was looking for so web class in progress is that one and then i have a replay one and i'm going to grab this one as well okay so i'm going to copy that and i'm going to put this one in there as well okay and then again, I'm going to come back so I can exclude those who actually purchased. Okay, so we hit done. And that is that. Now, the secure checkout. These are all people who added to the cart. Okay, so they initiated the checkout. And then also on this one, I'll exclude those who actually purchased. Okay, so we come over here. We click on create audience, custom audience, and then we'll go to website. And then this one's going to be people who visit a specific web page. And I'll just go 180. 180 is the max. And that's why I'm, I'm going 180. But let's go ahead and paste that one in. And this one is going to be T-S-R-E add to cart. Okay. That's going to be add to cart. And then we create audience. Okay. So we hit done. That is the add to cart. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one of all of those who purchased. Okay. So let's go here, create custom audience website, and I'm going to go 180 specific pages. It's going to be this one, um, order complete. And then this one's going to be TSRE course students. Okay, so we click on that. Okay, now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to the add to cart. I'm going to edit this. And I'm going to simply um, exclude. I'm going to exclude specific pages. I'm going to go 180.
And then I'm going to simply put in this one right here. Okay. So that right there, it's saying, okay, this is a custom audience of everyone who landed on the checkout, but have not landed on the order complete. Okay. Because people who, who landed on the order complete, they've also landed on the checkout as well, right? So I want to be able to make sure that I that I segment those two different types of people. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to exclude it on that one. And then also what I want to do is I want to um, 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 exclude it on – that one is the add to cart. And then I'm going to – do it on this one right here. The what the registrants. Yeah, let's do it on this one as well. So we're gonna come over here and then we're gonna exclude people who landed on that purchase page. Okay, order complete. Okay, so now now I have a great audience. Now I have these these custom audiences audiences set up that I can really narrow in my Facebook ad targeting and and hit the most relevant people on the in the most relevant audiences. Okay, so that right there, you guys, is super super powerful, and that's for my one funnel. You know, for one funnel that I have going on, um, which is this one over here. And it's it really consists of one, two, three, four. Um, one, one, two, yeah, it's actually five. One, two, three, four, five, because one's a replay page. But really five pages, you guys. Five pages is what I plan on driving traffic to and making sales. And not exactly a low ticket, somewhat high ticket. You know, selling this course for for a thousand dollars is what I'm gonna be selling it for. Um and making a few sales per day. That's what it that's what it's going to come down to, man. So this is the basics you guys. This is custom audiences. Set these up, segment your audiences so you're not wasting your money and spinning your wheels wondering why your Facebook ads are not converting, all right? So once we start getting some data, once we start building up these audiences, then we can create a lookalike audience and take our Facebook advertising to the next level. All right? So Catch tomorrow's video, you guys. That's going to be on custom conversions. Without setting up custom conversions, we're not capturing leads and we're not for sure making sales. So that right there is super, super important. And I'll see you on that video tomorrow.